What's up guys and uh, welcome to the show. So uh, I figured I would start doing a Friday uh, regular show uh, where I talk about knives and guns and uh, stuff like that. Uh, today I'm going to talk about the meat cleaver. I want to talk about the meat cleaver because a lot of guys are getting into meat cleavers as everyday carries and survival knives and I just want to talk about why I throw it and why I like the meat cleaver. Um, I like the meat cleaver because it's light, it's got good grips, it's well balanced, it's got the small handle and the large uh, cutting surface so when you throw it you either hit here, here, or you hit anywhere on your blade and you're going to get a stick. Nine times out of ten you're going to get a stick. Um, for survival type stuff it is good for of course chopping, cutting, uh, filleting and really just anything you you really need it for it's it's a really great knife it's a little big for my uh, like everyday carry or my liking for that type thing but I know a lot of guys get sheaths made and they carry their uh, meat cleavers every day I wouldn't go that far for me but uh, I I would if it was a little smaller if I could have like a mini cleaver I think I would go for an everyday carry for it but um, I just really like it because uh, like I said it's Usually when you get an axe or a hatchet, you have a long uh, handle with a short blade. With this, you have a short handle with the long blade, which is why I really like it. I like it because of that long um, cutting face and, and everything like that. That's why I really like it. And that's why I really like throwing it because if you're inter beginning, uh, intermediate, or professional uh, thrower, um, you're going to get uh, a hit every nine times out of ten. Even if you're a beginner, you're still going to get that hit nine times out of ten with a meat cleaver. So if you're a beginner, get yourself a good meat cleaver. If you're intermediate, get yourself a good meat cleaver. If you're an expert, get yourself a good meat cleaver because they're a good, they're a good throwing tool. As well as, like I said, I haven't really done any survival type stuff with the meat cleaver except for like chopping and um, that type thing so i think it works really good for that and and of course you have that full tang construction as well but as you can tell by my handle is a little bit kind of busted out there and then that, of course that's from throwing it hitting the handle uh that whole thing and you know pounding on it you don't really want to do because like you see I, I did that and i broke my bottom of my handle but the full tank construction is is really good you could always kind of rivet uh a different type of handle on there uh if you want um I know a lot of guys even use them without the handle, but um, I like them with the handle. Um, but anyway, guys, that's the uh, video. Oh, and you could also carry, I've seen a guy who carries this in his survival uh, tin, uh, or survival, um, I guess, case uh, as well for when he goes in the bush, that whole thing. And, and, and I guess if I was really, really a huge survivalist, I probably would too. But I would definitely recommend a meat cleaver to really anybody or uh, really anything. Uh, this is just a cheap no-name meat cleaver I got from do the dollar store. Uh, you could get these anywhere and they could take a beating. Like this is a cheap dollar store one and I've had it for like two years. I've been throwing two years with this thing and you can tell that other than the handle, it really isn't ding dinged up or really beat up too much. It still holds that sharp, good edge. So it, they really take a beating, these meat cleavers. But anyway, that's the vid guys. Like, comment, subscribe.